hello everyone say a nice big hello 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 hello, hello. hello you Hello and welcome, welcome everyone to the Extreme Improv Extreme Show, the fast-paced improvised comedy show where we make up scenes, songs, stories and something else. Now audience, as always, let me direct your eyes down to the bottom of the screen uh, where you'll see the suggestion box. Currently in the suggestion box it says support the show. Subscribe at www.youtube.com forward slash extreme improv. So please smash that subscribe button or be cursed. Yes, I'm, oh. I'm kicking it up a notch now. It's got to, got to take drastic action. So, with this, whilst we um, wait for some suggestions to come in, and the first one we'll be needing is an object. Audience, um, whilst you give us suggestions of objects, let's meet tonight's performers. Starting with DB. Say hello to the people. Hi, people. I'm DB. Hello, DB. Okay. Um, now... Speaking of uh, someone who has the initials DG, Danny George, say hello to the people. <laughs> hello, I'm Danny, um, coming from Portsmouth, and I changed my camera around, so it's weird, I don't know where to look. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's, like, it's interesting at the moment, it's like you're, you've got like this, this like, it, it looks like the Wicked Witch has got you inside like her crystal ball and we're like watching you. Basically. Oh, I have um, I have a light for, the f uh, for that. Oh, yes, you do. It changes colour. Oh, no oh. way. Okay. Now, oh, um, green. <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of someone who has been known to change into all of the colours of the Power Rangers, Corey Birch, say hello to the people. <laughs> hey there, folks. It's me, Corey, here from Canada. Feeling pretty cool. Okay, now speaking of someone who is cool as a cucumber, JJ, say hello to the people. Hello people, I'm JJ's iPhone according to my uh, name, but there you go, that's fine. Okay, um, now someone who uh, will be calling JJ's iPhone during the course of this will be Ruth Oroshnik, say hello to the people. <laughs> hey people from Southern California, I'm calling JJ's iPhone pretty soon. Um, I'm having trouble with my Zoom too. It's like, for some reason, it's making it appear like my tooth is missing. And they told me that they won't be able to fix it for about four months. So, um, I'll, you know, hopefully the Zoom will be fixed in about four months and I'll have a full set of teeth. Fantastic. Do you know what? Just, like, go onto Amazon, buy, like, some Halloween teeth. It'll give you fangs, but, you know. <laughs> oh, that'll be awesome. Yeah, yeah thanks. try it, try it. Okay, um, now, thanks for that, Ruth. Uh, but someone who else we are thankful for is Ruth Curtis. Say hello to the people. Hello, everybody. Yes, it's me, Ruth Curtis. I'm in Banbury in Oxfordshire, and uh, I've been having a lovely festive time for the last few days and looking forward to 2022. Oh, my gosh, I'm not. Right, so with this, <laughs> um, <laughs> let's have a look at what the audience have said. Painkillers. Um, what else? Love, TV, saucepan. Uh, I think we're going to go with TV. TV. We're going to start off with a game of verbatim where one of our performers will have 30 seconds to create a dramatic monologue and then we will give another performer another 30 seconds to attempt to recreate it. Starting us off, we're going to have Corey. 30 seconds on the theme of TV. And here you go. Oh, boy, howdy. When I was a, a kid, uh, I was a, a latchkey kid, if you will. Uh, so, ipso facto, I was raised by TV. And that uh, explains uh, basically my whole personality, why I'm a wild and crazy guy. Uh, because television literally raised me. That's what divorce does to you. Uh, anyways. And that, that is, is time. Uh, that is time. Thank you very much there, Corey. So now we are going to come to Danny O'George. Danny, you're going to have 30 seconds to attempt to recreate uh, Corey's original performance. And here you go. <coughs> Oh well, uh, uh, what can I say? I um, I'm, uh, I was raised by TV. I'm, I'm an Irish Canadian, apparently, and uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I was a, I was a laughable kid or something, um, and that's because TV literally raised me up, uh, like that Westlife song. And uh, 
Yeah, and that's what divorce does to you. It makes you crazy because <laughs> you're raised by the TV. Um, surely that's thirty And that is now. time. That is time. Now we are going to come to JJ. JJ, you will have 30 seconds to attempt to recreate Danny's recreation of Corey's original performance. And here you go. Oh, well, hello, Batista, Samara. This is my Irish-Canadian accent. So it is. Hello. Now, the TV, or my mother, as is otherwise known. Raise me up! Raise me up! When fallen in your mind. That one. And uh, divorce. <laughs> Who likes divorce? Although you do get more time in front of the telly, which is really useful, because it's your mum and your dad and everything to you. And basically, it is the bee's knees. The bollocks. And that is time. That is time. Now we're going to take things full circle. In a second, Corey, you will have 30 seconds to attempt to recreate JJ's recreation of Danny's recreation of your original performance. And here you go. Uh, uh, hello. It's uh, me, an Irish-Canadian chap. Uh, this is my regular voice here, isn't it? Uh, anyways, I was uh, raised by the TV. It raised me up to raises up. It raised me up, uh, something like that. I don't know. Anyways... Uh, divorce is a, a shit thing, isn't it? Uh, basically, uh, I was raised uh, by TV because of divorce. But you get and that is time. Telly, that is time. So, audience, it is now voting time. Who would you vote for here? <laughs> would you vote for Corey? But remember, Corey's original performance is not up for scrutiny here. It's all about who did the best recreation. Alternatively, would you vote for JJ? Or how about Danny O'George? It's slim pickings tonight, but you've got to vote for one of them. So, with that... Um, oh, thank God, Marty's joining. Right, so, uh, Ruth Curtis, who would you vote for here? Well, I'm not sure about the slim pickings, but anyway, I thought I thought Danny did a lovely uh, interpretation. Okay, okay. Marty, hello, can you hear us? Yes. Who do you Hi. think did the best recreation? Well, all things considered, I'm going to have to go with Cap. Okay, uh, that's a point for Cap. Uh, DB, what would you say? Uh, was JJ in that one? Yes. Uh, yeah. And Corey. Okay. And Ruth O, what would you say? Wow, all so good, but i got to go for the Canadian child of divorce, Corey. Okay, so with that, let's have a look at what we've got in the votes. Votes are coming through for JJ, Corey, Danny, 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 Corey. We'll give it five more seconds. It looks like Danny is running away with this. Four, three, two, one. As always, audience, get your votes in as quick as you can. Because otherwise, Danny wins. Right, oh. so, and another two for Danny, in fact. So... Yes, um, with this, we're going to have another round of this. But before we do, audience, I'm going to change what we're looking for. God damn it. Could you please give us some famous films? Give us some famous films in the suggestion box and we will use them for our next game. But with this, we are going to start off this time with Marty, as you have joined us. And I am going to say you're going to have 30 seconds to create a scene around a box of candy a box of candy and here you go christmas is over but the lingering effects of eating such food is really palpable in the air tonight but i still have a feeling that i might eat some candy i thought i had some around here somewhere Oh, my goodness. Where is my kid? Oh, gosh. All I seem to have are these cough drops. I don't... And that drop. is time. That Thank you very much there, Marty. Next up, we are going to come to Ruth C. Ruth C, you're going to have 30 seconds to attempt to recreate Marty's original performance and take it away. Oh, gosh. I'm so... Uh, uh, no, Christmas is over, uh, but the... Um... The, uh, the, the the sense of um, all that food it, it, it's palpable in the air and uh, and uh, but I I thought I had some candy around here some some 
I haven't got any. Where's that candy? I had to. It, it was a box of candy, I think. But anyway, um, uh, I can't. Find, yeah, no. I all I all I've got is this um this this blue tack. I you know I I, I can't eat that. That's that's. And that good. is time. So with this, from one Ruth to the next, Ruth O, you will now have thirty seconds to attempt to recreate Ruth C's recreation of Marty's original performance. And here you go. Oh man, you know Christmas is over, but you know that the scent of the food is still in the air. It's palpable, but uh, you know, uh, I wish I could find some candy around. Um, is there candy anywhere? Um, I don't know. No, not here. Oh, oh, here's this uh this blue thing, but it's a oh. um, for the dishwasher tablet. You can't eat that. Um, hmm, need some candy. And that candy. is time. That is time. So with this, we're now going to take things on another notch. DB, you will now have 30 seconds to attempt to recreate Ruth's recreation of Ruth's recreation of Marty's original performance. Take it away. Uh, Christmas is over, uh, but the uh, lingering effects of, uh, of the food that I've eaten are still here, and it's uh, quite palpable. Um, uh, I'd uh, really like some candy, though, and I, I think I've lost my candy. I don't see any candy anywhere. There's these these blue things. I could eat those, or I could have some, I guess there's some stale M&Ms. I wonder <laughs> if we have any JJ's. <laughs> and that is time. So, now we're going to take things full circle. In a second, Marty, you will have 30 seconds to attempt to recreate DB's recreation of Ruth's recreation of Ruth's recreation of your original performance. Take it away. Christmas is over, but the lingering effects of the food that you think you ate are still in the air. But you might feel like you're in the mood for candy. But are you? Is it real? Well, here, you could take the blue pill and you can believe that you're eating candy. You can stay here and believe you're eating candy. Or you can take the red pill and you can find out what's And really that is time. Really that is time. So, audience, I will now ask you to vote. Who do you think did the best recreation of what came before? Do you feel it was Marty? How about Ruth O? How about DB? How about Ruth C? I'm not really sure, as I was trying to figure out why my iPod wasn't charging, and then I realised the other end of the cable wasn't plugged in. So, with this, um, let's see what our experts' thoughts, starting with Danny. Oh, George. Oh, as a professional, as you know, David, I've got to vote, give my vote to the one that introduced the Tide Pod Challenge, Ruth Aroshnik. Okay, okay. Um, Corey, do you have an opinion? Uh, I was actually busy watching you trying to figure out what you were doing the entire time, so I actually didn't uh, see any of the performances. I completely understand. Uh, Ruth Curtis, what do you think? Well, I think I was absolutely spot on. So Excellent. I would like to me. Well, okay, I, as I should imagine you would. Uh, JJ, what would you say? Um, well, I would definitely uh, give it to DB as the least funniest. Okay, okay. It is reverse psychology today, today, so congratulations. Now, with this, let's have a look at the comments section. Um, we've got votes for DB, Marty, Ruth O, DB, Marty, DB, DB, Marty, DB, and Gladiator. But that may be a movie. So, uh, another one for DB. I'm going to give a five-second countdown. It looks like DB is taking wow. it. And DB, you win. Well done. So much for what JJ knows about comedy. <laughs> so, with this. All these kids are up. Brilliant. Um, <laughs> why am I not looking forward to 2022 in the comments? Oh, look at last year. The prequel because tells us what the like sequel's going to be. Yeah, it's, it, yeah, exactly. I didn't like the original, so I'm not going to bother with the sequel. So, with this. We're going to do some one-minute remakes. And there will be two performers in a scene. And they will remake an entire movie. And let's see what movies we have got. Rolling a dice to decide who will be in the first scene. I can see that it is going to be Corey and Ruth C. Corey and Ruth C. Could you please recreate for us Dr. Sleep? Dr. Sleep. 
Here we see Corey. Here we see Ruth. From the looks of their faces, this is going to be spot on. And here you go. Uh, doctor, doctor. Uh, doctor. Well, I'm asleep. I, I, I know, but uh, we, need, we need to get to surgery now. Uh, as somebody's ha just had a heart attack. You need to operate. Okay. I will get there straight away. I'm a bit sleepy, though. Um, pass me the scalpel. Uh, yeah, okay, the scalpel. Yeah, right. Oh, uh, that's a big one. Uh, uh, you're, we're going you're a small one? No, 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 we're going straight in, into okay. the chest, and is the patient asleep yet? I mean, come on, put the patient to sleep, you uh, know? Yeah, that, that, that's usually your go-to thing. You, you usually sing them a lullaby, right? That's of your course, doctor's that's sleep, my right? doctor's yeah, sleep, that's your, of course. Your... Oh, gosh. I'm all out of lullabies. I used them all up on that other patient. What are we going to do? Oh, no. Uh, uh, maybe... Do, do and it, that uh, is time. Uh, so, well... Oh, cliffhanger. Cliffhanger. Love it. So close to the original, it literally yeah. made my screen yeah. hurt. So, yeah. with this, next up we're going to have Ruth O. And we are going to have DB. Ruth O and DB. Could you please recreate for us um, John Wick, Chapter 3, Parabellum. John Wick, Chapter 3, Parabellum. And here we see DB. Here we see Ruth O. And here you go. And your shoes are disgusting. Disgusting. You know what? You're the only guy that's ever beat a teacher up. And just for that, you're not getting on the team. You I know just that? want my dog back. just want my you know dog what? in my car. You can have your dog as soon as you pay for his license. You cannot have or drive a dog without a license and do martial arts. And you know? that is time. That is time. Uh, that was great. I'd love to say I was watching that, but I was figuring out where to plug in this power brick. Now then, uh, let's see who has not had a go yet. Uh, let's see who has not had a go. One, JJ. two... Oh, just the three of us. Okay, I will watch this one because we're all going to be in it. So... Danny, JJ, and myself. Can someone suggest a movie for us? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. First. Before, Let, let's not what? do the current... Let's not do the newest no. one because spoilers. No, no. Some people it's haven't one. seen it. Okay, Spider so Spider-Man the movie. And here we go. Peter, you're looking so sad. Well, I am. My, uh, my Uncle Ben died. Look, he's dying right now. See? Oh, oh, man! Don't go! Don't go! Oh, Don't worry, I'm gonna go to my friend Harry's place. Hey, Harry! Good idea. Hello, I'm Harry. Oh, look, it's your dad, Norman Osborne. What's he doing here? Hello? Hey, uh, Norm, I hear you're quite a scientist. Well, I am. <laughs> I've just developed this amazing technology that shoots spider webs out of people's wrists. Oh, really? Wow. I've got some of it here. Pajoing! <laughs> Oh no! Uh, look, uh, my spidey sense is tingling. Oh, oh hey, Mary I've got Jane. Tingling as well. Hello. Hey, Mary Hello, Jane. Jane. Oh, hang on. I got a what, one second. There we go. Mm. Oh, 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 there we go. Nice. Ah, uh, Norm, watch out! Bang. Oh. And that is time. Okay, there we go. So that was that. Um, now then, since we've done some of those, um, let's do something else. Uh, audience, <laughs> I forgot to ask, could you 
Uh, do you know what? We'll use a couple more movies. But could you now give us some suggestions of professions? Give us some suggestions of professions. We're going to do two four-handers now. One-minute remakes. Just whilst we oh. wait for some suggestions to come through. So going first, we are going to have Corey. We are going to have Danny. We are going to have Ruth C. And we are going to have DB. So, Corey, oh, Danny, Ruth C, and DB. You will have the one minute. Team. So, DB, Corey, Ruth C, and Danny. You're going to have one minute to remake for us the film uh, Flubber. Flubber. And here you go. Uh, well, uh, I am a, a scientist, and, uh, uh, let me, uh, sir, yes, let me, uh, yeah, let me, uh, yep, yes, you, yeah, you, you, you. Uh, is, uh, doctor, is, uh, Flubber real? Uh, I wasn't talking to you, uh, you, uh, in the back, oh. yeah, sorry. Oh, uh, yes, um, are you meant to be getting married today? Uh, yeah, you, you, you in the front, you in the front row there, yes, yes, you. Yeah, yeah, yes. what is that funny bouncy thing? Uh, his, 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 his name is Danny O'George. Uh, he's, uh, he's one of the students. Oh, he's very bouncy. He's a, he's, he's a bouncy boy. Uh, I'm going to steal your flubber idea and make it my own. Oh, oh, don't don't let him take me. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Come, back with that Come back here with that student. We need him. We need him. Don't leave. No, no, no. That's called kidnapping. It is. Can we go to a basketball game? And that is time. That is time. Wow, uh, that was uh, that was quite good. So next up, <laughs> let's have the others. So first of all, Actually, there, there will be myself. In fact, Flubber was released in the UK on VHS on my on my ninth or tenth birthday. That is wow. such a random fact. Good. If you'd said if you'd said that was released the day I was born, but that you like the VHS was released on my ninth or tenth birthday. Oh. <laughs> okay, so no, next up. Oh. Anyway, I don't know about globally. Yeah, myself, I a, Marty. I thought that was the stuff they used to. Okay. Ruth O and JJ. Can we get a suggestion of a movie from everyone else? Titanic. Titanic. And here we go. Oh, good Jesus. Look at this last night sing around me like some kind of Frenacapan. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, uh, my name's Jack and uh, Rose, uh, I think, look, I'm a guy and you're a fella. I think we should try this out. <laughs> well, uh, I have this obsession with going to the top of the ship and just like hanging out there. Don't so jump! <laughs> Look, oh, I'm flying! Like hey, well, have you noticed your really stiff boyfriend just standing here lingering? I'm Billy Zane, and I'm pissed that my girlfriend likes some poor boy. Oh, oh no, I look, there's an iceberg coming! I can oh no! Say that this We're ship about is to hit it! On the oceans. Oh no, we hit, hit the it, iceberg! Hit I, I am we Billy Zane, and I will melt that iceberg to my stupid plans. Oh my god, I can he's feel so the hot! Iceberg already. Oh look, uh, I'm I'm dying, uh, Jill. What's your name, Rose? Oh, I have Billy Zane. <laughs> oh, don't <laughs> die! Don't die! I don't want to be with Women Billy Zane. I do. Right, and that's time. <laughs> Gosh, I you know why wouldn't you want to be with Billy Zane? So anyway, Jack and Jill. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> that went <one> down. <laughs> I couldn't remember the name. Right, we're gonna get on with our next game after that. Um, and we are going to play 99 blanks the way this works we're going to tell jokes which will follow the rhythm 99 blanks walk into a bar and the barmaid says your punchline you replace the word blanks with the name of a profession as suggested by our audience so it'll be 99 name of professions walk into a bar and the bartender says your punchline so let's go with 99 technical support People walk into a bar. 99 technical support people walk into a bar. JJ. 99 technical support people walk into the bar. And the barman says, oh, I've got a real problem with my marriage. I think it's heading towards divorce. And the, and the technical support guy says, just turn her on and off again. <laughs> Corey. 
Uh, 99 tech support walkers, uh, the workers walk into a bar and the bartender asks what they would like and they say, could you please hold for a second? Uh -huh. <laughs> 99 technical support workers. Well. You, you've gone silent. Come on, you. I think that, that, that's the joke. Yes, I know. That's that's the joke. That was the joke. the joke. Okay, was, DB. Yeah. I have another version of that. Press three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyone else for technical support? Uh, Ruth, O. Oh. 99 technical support uh, guys walk into a bar and they ask the bartender for drinks and he said, well, I could give you the drinks now or I could just jack you around for another three hours. <laughs> okay, uh, that sounds a better proposition. Uh, Marty. <laughs> 99 technical support people walk into a bar and they order drinks, but the bartender says... I'm sorry, I, I can't understand what you're saying. <laughs> ah, 99 technical support people uh, stand outside the bar examining the windows. Corey. 99 tech support workers walk into a bar. The bartender asks what they'll have. And they said, uh, yeah, we'll be ordering uh, between the hours of 12 and uh, 3 p.m. So get back to us. <laughs> ah, anyone else for tech support? Marty. 99 tech support workers walk into a bar. And they order a beer. The bartender says, well, I'm sorry, the tab isn't working right now. And he says, well, have you tried turning it on, off and back on again? Fabulous. Anyone else? Let's mix it up, in fact. Right, let's go. Uh, oh, do you know what? I, like, I don't know what this one's quite going to mean, but let's go for it. 99 spicy accountants walk into a bar, says Hannah Carey. 99 spicy accountants walk into a bar. If you have a joke, give a wave. Ruth. 99 spicy accountants walked into a bar and the bar maid says, what can I get you? And they say, oh, you're a bit of a hot figure. Oh, like it. JJ. 99 spicy accountants walk into the bar and the barman says, you lot are quite old, aren't you? And they said, yeah, we're old and spicy. Aha, <laughs> love it. Anyone else for spicy accountants? Uh, 99 spicy accountants walk into a bar. One of them goes up to the barmaid and says, Hey, do you want to make two become one? Anyone else? Danny O. George. 99 spicy accountants wait outside the bar. Um, when the bar opens, the says, Oh, welcome. Come in. Come in. <laughs> ah, love it. JJ. 99 spicy accountants walk into the bar and order their drinks. The barman says, would you like any snacks? And they said, uh, yes, but we only eat masala mix. Aha. Okay, 99 spicy accountants walk into a bar, and the bartender looks at all 99 of them, thinks they're beautiful, and says, I want you all. And they says, I'm going to give you equals opportunity. Anyone else for spicy accountants? Ruth O. 99 spicy accountants walk into the bar, and they ask for a drink. And the bartender says, can you tell us um, a little secret? Um, do the other Spice Girls have accountants too? <laughs> <laughs> Danny O. George. 99 spicy accountants walk into a bar. Um, they're all freezing. They say, can you turn on the heat? It's a bit chilly. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, 99 spicy accountants walk into a bar. And they take a look at the barmaid and say, we're going to divide you into two. Corey. 99 spicy accounts walk into a bar, uh, they drink all night, the bartender gives them their tab, and the spicy accountant says, uh, let's just write this one off. <laughs> JJ. 99 spicy accountants walk into the bar, and the barman says, you lot are just wannabes. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. On that note, let's mix it up, because we've got a load of suggestions here. And let's go with 99 award show script writers walk into a bar. 99 award show script writers walk into a bar. Danny. 99 award show script writers walk into the bar. The barman sees the one and says, what's that on your face? And he says, oh, it's Oscar. Ah, Oscar. anyone else? DB. 99 award script writers start playing... They're being played off, you know. Yes. Yeah. Okay, off. 99 awards show script writers go into a bar and without being told to, they get into a line. Yes, you could say it's an auto cue. 
<laughs> Corey. Uh, 99 award scriptwriters uh, walk into a bar, they order drinks, and the bartender says, and this drink goes to... <laughs> <laughs> Danny. On the back of that one, 99 award show scriptwriters just walk into the bar. The barman takes the raw juice, he comes out, and the drink goes to... And one of them raised the hand and says, that's a me. Oh. A me. Okay, so... Uh, Next up, the next joke goes to Marty. Oh, not me. <laughs> Marty. 99 award show scriptwriters walk into a bar and the bartender says, what will you have? And they said, oh, we will have... Could you hold that uh, cue card up a little higher? <laughs> well, that landed flat. <laughs> JJ. Yep, Okay. 99 award-winning scriptwriters walk into the bar and they order champagne all around. And the barman said, who's paying? And one turns to the other and goes, well, I'm, I'm penniless. You got any money? And the other one goes, no, I've got nothing. I've got absolutely nothing. I'm penniless. I mean, I won an award. I've got no money at all. I can't live. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry, man. <laughs> Corey. Uh, 99 award show uh, writers walk into a bar. They get really drunk. And by the end of the night, they're saying, they like me they really like oh. me <laughs> okay let's mix it up again we are going to go with 99 oh what shall we have here 99 there's so many good ones tonight like literally uh where have you been all year guys right so okay <laughs> right oh my god it's that can't be a real thing Spermologist. Is that an actual job? Oh. Come on. No. no. It should be. Okay, we, we won't Everything take that one. We won't take it. We won't take it. No, no, no. That's a hard oh, one to swallow for people. Oh, come right, so, on. Okay. Come on. Right, okay, okay. Let's go for uh, 99. Let's see. Nine, <laughs> there's loads of good ones, though. Right, let's just have a look. I think... Oh, my God. Only fans creators. These are great. Yeah, quite a long right, way let's go with... Um, I don't know, this is blowing it off. Yeah, yeah okay. I actually have just checked. A uh, spermologist is an actual thing. Of course, everything can be an ologist. I love the fact that Danny is <laughs> checking. I love the fact that Danny's like, I've just checked, and he's checking I'm his phone badge. This. He's it's checking amazing. his own like, ID card. <laughs> right, is okay. Andrew watching tonight? <laughs> okay, let's have 99. God, what one to go for? 99 tattoo artists walk into a bar. 99 tattoo artists walk into a bar. There you go. Spermologists. <laughs> right, so uh, 99 tattoo I've artists walk into a bar. If you have a joke, give a wave. <laughs> going once. Okay, let's get a different one then. Screw it. Right, we are going to go uh, to 99 snake milkers walk into a bar. 99 snake mil milkers walk into a bar. And if you have a joke, Corey. Uh, 99 snake milkers walk into a bar. The bartender asks, uh, is that a snake in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? Okay. Uh, 99 snake milkers walk into a bar. And the barman says, that's a weird job. They say, well, it's just a fancy name for a spermologist. Yes. <laughs> right. Okay. Marty. <laughs> No, that's pretty much what I was going to say. Ah, oh, sorry. That's what I uh, as well. DB. But we just wanted some coffee so we could be Viper active. Ah, love it. <laughs> Danny. 99 snake milkers walk into the bar. The barman, uh, after hearing what they do for a living, says, um, why can't they just do it themselves? And the, uh, the snake milkers say, well, they don't have any fingers. And, and what about their feet? And, well, they, they lack toes. Ah, <laughs> 99, uh, what is it, snake milkers walk into a bar and they order food and it is too hot. And one of them goes up to the barman and they say, look, I just, I just burnt my tongue. I just burnt my tongue on that python the bar. Uh. <laughs> right, Danny. 99 snake milkers walk into the bar. The barman's like, no, sorry, I can't fit all of you in here. Some of you have to go to the shed round back. Aha, JJ. On the same theme, 99 uh, snake milkers walk into a bar, order their drinks, and the barman says, how would you pay? And they said, could you adder it all up and you'll spit it? Ah, Danny. 
99 snake milkers walk into the bar and they all uh, have a round of drinks and then one of them uh, steals all of the wallets and then runs away. You could say uh, that they were distraught because Anaconda. Haha, DB. Um, we're not here for drinks. We just have a really bad headache and need some ass beerin. <laughs> Love it. Let's mix it up one final time. So, just to have a look, see what else they've got here. Uh, Twitch streamers, dominatrix, Disney screenwriters. Let's go for that. 99 Disney screenwriters walk into a bar. If you have a joke, give a wave. Danny O'George. 99 Disney screenwriters walk into the bar. And the barman asks, what are you having? Ah, love it. JJ. 99 uh, Disney screenwriters walk into the bar. And the barman says, what would you like? One of them says, <laughs> <laughs> okay, 99 Disney screenwriters walk into a bar and one of them says, <laughs> and the barman says, stop taking the mickey. <laughs> Marty. And that uh, Disney screenwriters walk into a bar and the writer says, hey, what are you writing right now? And he says, ah, oh, just a jungle book. Ah. Um, 99 Disney screenwriters walk into a bar they get completely bladded and they say look can you call us an Uber and then they're really upset when a mini turns up okay uh, Ruth O 99 screen, uh, Disney screenwriters walk in the bar and the bartenders say what would you like and they say I'd like a drink I'd like a drink I'd like a big beautiful drink <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, JJ 99 Disney script writers walk into a bar and the mum says, I'm, I'm not sure that shirt goes with that jacket very much. And the uh, screenwriter says, I don't give a Donald Duck what you think. Aha. Ruth C. 99 Disney script writers walk into a bar. The bartender says, what, what's your job? They tell him and he goes, oh, that's a Mickey Mouse job. Aha. Corey. 99 uh, Disney script writers walk into a bar. Uh, they whisper their order to the bartender's ear. The bartender says, whoa, whoa, whoa. You can get a happy ending next door. And the Disney script writers are, oh, sorry. I meant a happily ever after. Uh -huh. Danny, oh, George. 99 Disney screenwriters walk into the bar when suddenly one of them uh, hurts themselves walking past one of the tables. The barman's like, what's happened? What, ha what happened? And the screenwriter says, oh, I just banged this knee. Ah, uh, <laughs> Marty. 99 Disney screenwriters walk into a bar and the bartender says, what do you have? And they said, we'll have a margarita. And he says, regular or frozen? Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, one Disney script writer walks into a bar, but unfortunately they got cut in half. And then there was two of them. And then they got cut in half again. And then there was more. And then Fantasia, guys. <laughs> Think about it. Oh. Right, so anyway, uh, Danny O'George... 99 Disney screenwriters all walk into the bar. Um, they all order the same drink. Uh, when the first one arrives, they all start fighting over it. They grab it. They're trying to yank it away from each other. And the bar is like, oi, let it go, let it go. Uh -huh. um, Marty. 99 Disney screenwriters walk into a bar and they see the bartender and they say, hey, didn't we see you at a different bar last week? And he goes, eh, it's a small world after all. Ah. Okay, 99 Disney uh, script writer, writers walk into a bar and say, hey, we came into this pub um, a week ago. Uh, it's a small world after all. They say, no, 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 it's a whole new world. <laughs> okay, uh, JJ. 99 Disney script writers walk into a bar and uh, there's a particularly gorgeous woman dressed in uh, kind of finery, um, almost like Snow White. And the barman says, oh, what would you like? She said, I'd like eight margaritas, please. And he says, eight margaritas? He said, yes, I'd like one for me, one for my seven friends who are at the bar we can't see. Yeah. Okay, Corey. Uh, 99 Disney scriptwriters walk into a bar. The bartender says, uh, I've got uh, an extra part. Does anybody want it? And they said, well, it's the shoot fits. Uh -huh. 99 Disney script writers walk into a bar and it's last orders, so they ring the bell. DB. 99 script writers are like, but it's me. <laughs> hey. Danny O. George. Uh, this one goes out to you, Yummy Never Hummer. 99 Disney screenwriters walk into the bar and lo and behold, one of them bangs their knee again. 
And the Bible's like, well, you must be careful. That's going to be even sorer from Kingdom Hearts. It's a Disney game. And on that note, we will end. Okay, so well done, everyone. Well done. So uh, let's have a look. We've got a joke from the audience. 99 Disney screenwriters walk into a bar and ask what the barman is looking at. And he said, I tore, I tore a puddy tat. That definitely isn't Disney. Um, but uh, good try, good try. Uh, okay, so with thank you, Danny, says yummy no bar mutt. Right, okay, so with this. We're going to go on to our next game. We're going to have a round of every sentence must. We'll have a couple of rounds of this. The way this works is we'll have four performers in a scene at a time. And every time they say a line of dialogue, it must include a word from a particular category in it. So let's have a look who we will start off with. Going first, we are going to have JJ. We are going to have Ruth Curtis. We are going to have Danny O'George, and we are going to have Ruth Aroshnik. So, Ruth, Ruth, JJ, and Danny. Here we see Ruth. Here we see Ruth. Here we see JJ. And here we see Danny O'George. Let's look for a profession audience. Could you give us some suggestions now of something that scares you? Something that scares you. Okay, this scene, uh, you are going to be, uh, let's see, you are nail technicians. You are nail technicians, and let's say that every sentence must include the name of an animal. Every sentence must include the name of an animal. You are nail technicians, and here you go. Keep still. Stop horsing around. Got a lion on that. I'm just so you want it looking like a tiger? All right, then. Just here to get some cat claws on these babies. <laughs> we are the sheepest nail technicians in the area. <laughs> well, how can you come to that assumption? Any bird in this town will tell you that we're the cheapest around. I mean, have you seen the people checking us out outside? I could do a snake, but it's rather kind of difficult. Cost you extra. Yeah, and then again, Ella fantasizes about us doing multicolor nails. That's like, well... Mm. Oh, I see you're back again, Mrs. Uh, a leopard never changes his spots. Oh, look, it's a catastrophe. Catastrophe. Absolute catastrophe. You know, I'm dog tired. I wouldn't mind having my toes done, too. God, blimey, it's raining cats and dogs out there. Do you reckon you could also style my beard? I quite fancy a goatee. Um... The hair. The, the, the hair is not what we do. We don't do hairs. Um, well, I need to get changed. I'm not dressed for work. Can you pass me the bra, please? You oh, do don't rub it cry, on a bit, madam. don't you? you? You just rub it on. Don't cry, madam. These are just alligator tears. Mm. Yeah. No, I, I, I want somebody that's serious, not the, this horsing around over here. Right, that's my shirt. So can you pass me that tie, girl, please? I need to put it on. Yeah. And that is seen. <laughs> well done. Well done. <laughs> Ella fantasizes. Love it. That's so, it. <laughs> with this, we will have a, another one of these. Let's see if we've been given a fear. Um, we have got suggestions of odd socks. My wedding going wrong. Making a fool of myself in public. Uh, my grandma Rosie. Oh dear. <laughs> Customers in CEX. Getting drunk. All of these are good. Uh, let's have a look. Trying on tight clothes in a store and ripping them. Love that one. That's what we'll go with. 
So in this <laughs> next one will be myself, Corey. Uh, let's see, who else haven't, hasn't had a go yet? I've forgotten. DB and Ruth. DB and Marty. Marty. Ruth, Sheen. Ruth, Curtis. No, I've had, I've been You were last both week. in the last scene. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> With you, JJ. <laughs> I'm right. listening in. Okay, so with this, uh, we are trying on some tight clothes in a store and ripping them. Can oh. one of you guys give us a suggestion of something that we must include in every sentence, a category? Colours. Colours. Ooh, that's going to be quite limited. We'll go for it, though. Oh, well, uh, lots of different colours. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go for it. Okay, so we are trying on tight clothes in a store and ripping them, and here we go. Uh, yellow, everything okay in there? Security here. Um, look, guys, uh, I'm sorry. There's a rip. I I blew it. I completely blew it. Wait, let me just pull it up more. Let me just try to pull it, pull it up. It's oh, just. I... Ah! <sighs> you just uh, you ripped it so bad. I I'm, I can see too much pain. Oh. There is red everywhere now. Oh, look, I read the instructions and it says it was my size. Uh, do you have the green light to get in there or uh, what's going on? Guys? <laughs> you gotta, you gotta Don't feel yellow light. Feel blue about it. Grayson, can you hear me? I need your help in here. You can't just stand there pretending to be on the phone. Grayson, help oh, why me. Are you so, why, are, why are you so green? I'm green with envy because he, the pants fit him and not me. Oh. Sorry, I must start to ask you a question. Uh, are you going to be long in there? Oh, look. Just a fuchsia minutes. Just a fuchsia minutes. Look, what's wrong with you? Why do you always have to be white? I know somebody can help us. We should call the Ultramarines. Uh, Cyan, come in there. Uh, I need to en enter this change room. You're taking can, up can, a lot of time. Can someone just explain this to the manager? Who's got a silver tongue? Oh, Fuchsia. <laughs> Gold, damn it. You gotta leave the change room. There's customers waiting. Aren't you glad I haven't said banana? The coppers are coming. The coppers are coming. The coppers are coming. Oh no, run. And see. Oh, kiss, 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 kiss. Oh, and see. Do you arrange that? Orange that. Oh, look, there's only like seven colours in the world. This was too hard. Right, so anyway. Red and yellow, and green and blue, orange is the new black. I don't know any others. Right, so. I'm a gentleman. It's time I'm a gentleman. No purples. No. Three three primary colors. Exactly. Scarlet. Exactly. Right. So anyway, we're going to move on to our next game, which is going to be uh, a couple of rounds. Well, we're going to do some alphabet scenes. In fact, let's get a couple of performers, and they will do a two-hander scene um, where every time they start a new line of dialogue. They are going to have to start the new line of dialogue with the next letter of the alphabet, A followed by B followed by C in that kind of pattern. So with this, let's see who we have going first. And it will be DB and it will be Ruth O. DB and Ruth O. Let's see. Could you please do a scene about my grandma Rosie? My grandma Rosie, and here we see. Wait, 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 what's the game? What's the game? Uh, alphabet, alphabet scene. Alphabet. Oh, okay. Great. Uh, did, we get, did we get a letter? That's why I was confused. Yeah. <laughs> and here we see Ruth O. You are going to begin at the letter S, and you will have ninety seconds to attempt to get back to the letter S. And here you go. See, see what you did. Too mean. You're too mean to me about this. Understand this. I'm your boss. I'm in charge. Very funny. You know, you're not much of a boss. Why? Uh, a 
explain why you never come in on time. You want me to explain why I don't come in? Zero responsibility and we do all the work for you. Are you going to give me this attitude all day? Uh, before me, my grandma Rosie came in here and she quit on you. Can you please leave Rosie out of this? My grandma Rosie is a saint. Uh, dumb as a rock, saint or not. Everybody says that between you and me. First, she comes in and then she doesn't even know it's the store. She's so... Great! We could use that to our advantage. <laughs> High people think that Rosie's great, of course. I don't. Jealous. Most of them are jealous because we have such a cool... Old... And that is time. That is time. Going next. Let's roll the dice again. And we are going to have JJ. And we are going to have Marty. JJ and Marty. Let's see who we've got here. Here we see JJ. Here we see Marty. Your scene is going to be about odd socks. Odd socks. You are going to begin at the letter D. You're going to have 90 seconds to attempt to get back to the letter D. And here you go. Damn it! Seven of them! Every time we put socks in the dryer, they one disappears. For God's sake! Get a new dryer, I think. How are we going to sort this out? I'm not sure. I don't know if we have enough money for a new dryer. Jack will get us one. Know this. It'd be cheaper to buy more socks than to buy a new dryer. Lemmings have got some deals on at the moment. More socks, less hassle. No, 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 no. You're all wrong. Oh, you're always telling me I'm wrong. Persistent, maybe, but wrong. Quiet. I'm tired of your stuff. Sod off, will you? Really? You're going to be that way about it? Too right. Understand this. I'm going to buy socks. You can do whatever you want. Very conservative of you. Well, I like socks. I'll just have to figure out somewhere to keep them. Exactly the same every time. You are telling me that predictable, and I'm not. Zoot's a law. <laughs> Always at the French, trying to sound smart. And that is time. That is time. Well done. Well done. So, uh, who has not had a go yet? Who has not had a go yet? One, two, only three? Four. Okay, good. So, next up will be Ruth Curtis and will be Ruth Curtis. Let's roll that again. And will be Corey. Ruth and Corey. Let's see what we have here. Ruth and Corey, and you um, are... Hello. You're running out of cider. You are running out of cider. You are going to begin at the letter T, and you'll have 90 seconds to get back to the letter T, and here you go. Tell me what where the cider is. Unbelievable. You ran out of cider? Exactly. What do you mean? Oh, uh, very, very true. I should have gone that way, shouldn't I? <laughs> um. Xanadu! You, you know where the cider is? You know where it is, I'm sure. Zooks! Do I ever? I'll go get some. Absolutely. Go for it. Bollocks, I'm not getting it myself. Come on! Don't make me. Oh, every time we do this. F you. Good 
grief. That's bad. Ha <laughs> just, <laughs> just joking. I knew you were, really. Just joking. I wasn't joking. Uh, keep on going on, then. Let me get the cider. It's fine. <sighs> me, 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 me. No, you, 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 you. Okay, me, you, me, you. Please, please, me. Oh, quite likely I will. Right. Well, who's getting the cider? Somebody else. Tell them. <sighs> Unfortunately, there's And no one that is time. Well done. Well done. Exactly on time. So, uh, that leaves, next up, myself and Danny. Oh, George, can someone suggest uh, a scenario for us? Where are we? What are we doing? You are making a motorway. Building we, are a motorway. Ma we are building a motorway. <laughs> we are going to begin at the letter L. We'll have 90 seconds to get back to letter L, and here you go. Lanes. We need more lanes on this road. Motorways are really long. Not like the not like the good old days, right? Oh, the good old days, yeah, like them. Please tell me, please tell me about that all over again. Quickly, then. So it began with just this little road, and then it turned into bigger ones. Roads have the ability to do that. That's amazing. Shut up! They do not, do they? Trust me, they do. Ulysses, um, I've been meaning to. You, you're fired. Oh, it just started to be. Wait a minute. You're not Ulysses Douglas, are you? Xanadu. Ulysses Xanadu. That's my name. Trousers. I muddled you up with someone else. You were meant to be fired yesterday. <sighs> Zero cents. My first day on the job is today. Ah, uh, excuse me. It's yesterday and that's why you would have been fired because you didn't turn up <laughs> bollocks to that <laughs> come on then look if you're that determined to work here I think you should get this whole motorway done within the next two hours <laughs> done and done excellent man I, I, I always believed in you three ways are the way to go go? where are they meant to go? hell for all I know I thought I recognised you from somewhere. Just a minute. Where where have we ended up now? I don't know. 90 seconds ended about 15 seconds ago. <laughs> and scene! <laughs> okay, so with that, we're going to go on to our next round. Audience, uh, could you give us some suggestions of well-known characters from fiction or people from history plus unusual things for them to do? Well-known characters from fiction, people from history, plus unusual things for them to do. We are going to do an impression battle royale tournament. And the way this works is we will get two of our performers at a time who will take turns to do impressions. And then you get to vote which one you preferred. At the end, we will have four finalists. And then we will have today's Extreme Improv Extreme Champion. Now, rolling the dice to see who will go first. And it will be Ruth O. And it will be DB. Ruth O and DB. Ruth O, you get to go first. Um, okay, uh, we've got some in-jokes going on in the audience. Uh, we've got some in-jokes going on in the audience. So... Uh, Luby Lurking, oh, good God. whoever that is, uh, is having fun. I think there's someone called Hannah in the comments, Hannah Carey. And so, uh, Luby, L I'm just going to call you Lube, okay? So, suggest Hannah not talking about her wedding. Yami no Barmut uh, suggests Abba, which is several people. Then Luby suggests Danny on a night out. So you're getting involved here, Danny. Okay. Uh, Rob, then Rob Kirby then suggests DB doing something. Um, so this is, this is all just going very in-joke. Right, so anyway, uh, Ruth O, oh, let's find a suggestion of a character for you. Could you please for us be Professor Plum 
Not being the killer. Professor Plum, not being the killer. And here you go. Well, I just want to say that I was teaching a class on motorsports and um, the universe. And there is no way that I could have been the killer. I know that a lot of people have deduced that I may have done it in the kitchen with a knife, but isn't that kind of the obvious that someone would be in the kitchen and kill someone with a knife? So it's obviously not me. Plus, I have um, 5 million online students that can vouch that I was indeed giving a lecture on motorsports and the universe. So there's no way that I could be the killer. That's what I'm saying. And besides, I have a good job as a professor. I'm not going to mess it up by going out and committing a murder. You know, you don't get tenure that way. You understand that, right? I've pled my case and I am innocent. Class okay. Um, one second. Boom. Right. So that was Ruth uh, doing Ruth things for your pleasure. Um, but now, uh, DB, let's find out someone for you. Um, could you please be, for us, uh, Hannah not talking about her wedding? Let, let's give in to our audience. So Hannah Carey in our audience, uh, not caring about her wedding. There's too many suggestions uh, which are of this nature not to use them. You said not talking the first time. Is it not caring or not talking? Not talking about her wedding. So, um, yeah. So, could you please, Hannah, not talking about her wedding? And here you go. Wedding yet? Oh shit. And scene. Well done. Well done. So fabulous stuff there, DB, uh, doing his impression of Hannah not talking about her wedding. Or, audience, would you rather vote for Ruth doing her impression of um I forget who you Professor were. Plum. Professor, Professor Plum. Plum. Not doing Professor Plum's wedding stuff. Uh, not, not being the killer. So, Professor Plum, not being the killer. Or DB as Hannah Carey, not caring. That's where I said caring before. About her wedding. So, um, Danny O'George, in your expert opinion, what would you say? Of course you'd come to me first, right? Uh, both were actually pretty good. But I've got to give it to the DB. This was spot on. Okay. Um, Ruth Curtis, what's your opinion? Well, I really liked Ruth's uh, kitchen and with a knife and that being stupid because it's so obvious. But yeah, I, I mean, you know, DB had me, you know, on the edge of shouting at him a lot. <laughs> DB. He had me on the edge of something too. Now then, Marty, um, what would you say? Well, I think they both did a fabulous job. And I think that I shall give the point to someone that's not on the show. Yeah. Okay. So. That's everybody else. Um, what weird. would you say, Corey Birch? Uh, well, what did uh, JJ just say? I don't that know. Nonsense? <laughs> yeah, exactly that. <laughs> exactly that, David. Okay, um, with that, let's go over to the comments section. And we have votes for Ruth, DB, Ruth, DB, 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 Ruth, DB, DB, and is that, oh no, and Ruth again. So with that, uh, I will say DB, you took it. Well done. Yes. 
Let's see who we have next. Rolling the dice. And we have Corey. Rolling the dice. And we have Marty. Corey and Marty. Corey. <coughs> yes. Um, let's have a look. In my defense, says Hannah Carey, everyone lives far away. And it's eight months away and I'm at uni. Well, don't don't worry. Uh, don't worry, Hannah. Don't, don't worry. Don't. Don't you let, um, I don't know who, who your issue was with. Right, so, um, <laughs> let's have a look. Um, Marty, are you in this one? Yes, Marty. Yeah. Could you, could you please be uh, Mickey Mouse in drug rehab? You are Mickey Mouse in drug rehab. And here you go. drug addict. Uh, it's been three days since my last uh, hit and I'm starting to go through starting to go through some withdrawals a little bit <laughs> but uh, but I think I'm doing okay. I, uh, I really miss Minnie uh, a lot um, but I'm hoping that maybe we can uh, work out some conjugal visits if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, uh, so anyway well, you know the the pressures of Hollywood just uh, just just got to me, and uh, and I, I just started doing a little bit too much of the nose candy, you see, and then that moved me into the harder stuff, and um, and I just I you know Goofy gets all the best shit, and uh, it's really, really, really um, it's tough. I I'm, I'm really hope I'm, I think I can kick this, and um, and uh, yeah, get back to get back to get back. <laughs> okay okay well done well done so next up uh cory was it cory yeah uh yeah. could you please be for us uh steven seagal shopping in lidl's which if you don't know what lidl's is it's kind of like a somewhat cheapish Walmart, so like a yeah, like a bargain bin Walmart. Okay, so gotcha. You were Steven Seagal shopping in Lidl's. Take it away. Oh, oh my shit. god! Uh, what do I? Uh, okay, I need uh, I need some protein. I need some chicken. Where's the chicken? Where's the chicken? I need chicken. I need protein. I need eggs. I need raw eggs. I'm gonna. Well, oh, it's raw eggs right now. <laughs> All right. What else? What else? Just I know. Hey, 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 buddy, back off. I know. I know kung fu, and I know about three other Asian words. Okay, so uh, you better uh, watch out, or I'll teriyaki your ass right now. All right. What else? Just Steven Seagal, mate. I need probably some uh, some something to calm me down. Uh, do you have some sleepy time tea? Because I'm gonna need a nap after this for sure. Uh, what? You get away from me! You get. I, 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 I know Taekwondo. I know Tai Chi, and I know Jackie Chan personally. So don't fuck with me. All right. Uh, okay. Is there a place that I can check my blood pressure? Because I'm getting real hot right now. Okay. Okay. Right. You know well done. Well done. I am so impressed by the speed in which that arrived. So, with that audience, it is now voting time. Who would you vote for here? Would you vote for the House of Mouse, Marty, as Mickey Mouse? Or would you say that Corey was hard to kill in that round? So, get your votes in. We will see um, what the audience think. Um, DB, what's your opinion? Um, I was waiting for Corey to do a thing with, like, some virtual thing, and I'm glad he did. What, Corey? I Never. <laughs> right, okay. Um, Ruth C., what would you, Ruth, say? I, I really liked Marty Smickey, but I'm too scared by Corey not to not to vote for him, because that's, that's really scary. Stop it, stop it, stop it. He's very scary. Okay, JJ. Uh, I thought Marty crushed it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, Danny. Um, <clears throat> Marty's was was good. I'm not I'm not faulting that, but because he's above the law, I'm going to have to give it to Corey. Okay, Ruth. I. Ah, uh, too close to call because you know they're both Disney characters, and you know, <laughs> <laughs> this is true. This is true. 
Okay, let's have a look. We've got votes for Marty, Corey, Marty, Marty, Corey, 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 oh. Cor Corey again. After wow. seeing Corey's Steven Seagal face, I would like to change my answer to something I'm scared of, says Rob Kirby. Uh, Corey again, Marty again, Marty again. Um, but I don't think we're going to get any further than that, so we will say, Corey, you have taken it. So, with that, let's have a look. Who has not had a go yet? Who has not had a go yet? Uh, myself, Ruth, JJ, and Danny. Next up will be Danny O'George. And DB has done it. And JJ. So, Danny and JJ. Danny, you will go first. Could you please be for us? Um... Could you be Batman getting therapy? Batman getting therapy. And here you go. Hello, I'm, uh, I'm Batman. Uh, I'm, I'm here to talk about my problems. Um, do I just like, lay down on the, on the couch here? Okay, right. Well, uh, it all started when my parents... <laughs> they died. They died. <laughs> they got killed when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you miss them so much. I can't get over it. <laughs> uh, you writing this down? Okay, okay cool. Uh, okay, go. Cool. <laughs> hey, wait, what are, what are you laughing for? You're the Joker. I'm Batman. Away! Okay, and as Danny has left the screen, we will say that is the end of his impression. So, uh, with that, we will now come to JJ, I believe. Uh, JJ, let's find a character for you. Could you please be for us... Uh, Admiral Akbar trying to impersonate Al Pacino. Admiral Akbar trying to impersonate Al Pacino. And here you go. So I think it goes something like this. Don't mock me about. Don't play me up. Because I'm going to kill you. How is that? Is that good? I have no idea who Admiral Akbar is. But I'm hoping he's somewhat of the Asian origin. But I have absolutely no idea. Who is Admiral Akbar? I know who Al Pacino is. Al Pacino. Okay. Okay. Don't mock me about. You're an admiral or not. I don't know. I can't do either of these characters. I mean, I just vote for the other guy right now because I'm abdicating my admiralty right now. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you know what I'm saying? I only do my best work with Bobby De Niro. I mean, yeah, come on, Bobby. He's great. The admiral, he's a schmuck. Okay, and see, and see. So, it's a trap, um, JJ. It's a trap. It's a trap. Right, so uh, let's remove Spotlight. So that is Admiral Akbar. Um, Who is Admiral Akbar? Star Wars. The hey, from Star Wars. Uh, oh, the one franchise like... I never want to see or have seen. Lovely moment. Yeah. Okay. Well, on that note, audience, uh, who would you vote for here? Would you vote for JJ as Admiral Akbar? Or would you oh. vote for Danny as Admiral Akbar's man? So, put your votes into the comment section, either Danny as Batman or JJ as Admiral Akbar. And let's ask our experts, starting with DB. Who would you vote for here? I pick Danny OJJ. Okay. Ooh, bait and switch. Who would you vote for, Ruth O? Um, I picked JJ or Danny. Oh, well, okay. The side of the majority is speaking. Right, I, I'm getting super confused here. Who would you vote for, Corey? Oh, I've got to go for the obvious choice, Danny. Oh my God, <laughs> all of this bait and switching here is getting me super confused, Marty. Uh, I'm going to vote for Admiral Batman. Admiral Batman. Ruth Curtis. I'm just going to go and cry in a corner. 
Well, thank God. Yes. Right, so <laughs> with that, <laughs> let's have a look. We've got votes for Danny, JJ, Danny, 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 bless him. Why? Right, okay. Well, there you go, Danny. Um, Danny, 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 JJ, Danny again. But bless you, Danny, bless you. Right, so... <laughs> Uh, exactly. So, Danny, you take it, and that leaves myself and Ruth Curtis, I believe. I will go first. Can someone suggest a character for me? Abraham Lincoln. I get Abraham Lincoln on every show for the last Salacious two weeks. Salacious Crumb. Who? Salacious Crumb. That's, J that's Jabba's little guy. <laughs> okay, that's all I can do with it. I'll do it. So, what am I? Felatio who? <laughs> Oh, fallacious crump. Okay, right. So I'm fallacious crump, and what am I doing? I'm trying to resuscitate you're, you're Yaba. You're, no, you're, you're milking a snake, David. You're milking a snake. <laughs> okay. Same thing, right? right. So I'm fallacious crump, and I'm milking a snake. Uh, and here, I <laughs> I don't have a snake, guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I don't know. I quit. Right, so Ruth, you're going to have a super easy time here. Um, let's have a look. Um, Ruth, let's find someone for you. Could you please be Sean Penn going into his local sandwich shop and demanding they name a sandwich after him? You're Sean Penn going into a sandwich shop and demanding they name a sandwich after him. Take it away. I come here every day. Every day. You never give me what I want. So, give me what I want. I want a sandwich. I want it named after me. I want it to have everything. I want it to have my brother's name on it. I want it to have my name on it. I want you to write it in mustard. I want to have beef. I want to have... I want the lot. Every topping that you've got, and you name it after me. It's a pen sandwich. P E double N. Don't miss the second N. I can't even remember who I am. I can't even remember <laughs> any film that I paid in. Or, did I marry that woman or not? Or was I just dating her? You know, the one who sings. You know, Madonna. I'm sure I went out with her. Didn't I? Didn't stay with me for very long if I did. Anyway, why won't you name a sandwich after me? You know, I'm famous. Somewhere. Someone remembers me. But not that Ruth Curtis. She doesn't remember me at all. Okay, and that is time. That is time. So, just doing a little bit of fact checking here for you, Ruth. So, spouse, Madonna, married 1985, divorced 1989. Robin Wright, I, I think I know who that name yes. is, but I can't yes, remember what I know her from. Oh, that's it. Then uh, Layla or Leela O'George, uh, I don't know who she is, but. No, no, really, Samuel. Yeah. Annie. No, I right. she's But she's... along the way, also with Charlie's Theron. So, yeah, he's done all right for himself. So, yeah. anyway, uh, moving yeah. on. Audience, who would you vote for here? Would you vote for. Uh, Fallacious Crumb, as played by me, or would you vote for Ruth as Sean Penn? Put your votes into the comment section. And Ruth O, what would you say? Um, this time i got to give it to the other Ruth. Okay. JJ, what would you say? Uh, I would vote for Fallacio Ruth. Yeah. It's a, I should have saved that joke until the actual thing, and I might have done well. <laughs> Danny, who would you <laughs> vote for? Um... <coughs> Yeah, I'm going to give it to Ruth. Sorry, David, you were pretty much a dead man walking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Marty. <laughs> well, I you, you I wanted you to be uh, more... I wanted you to get into the spermology of things, but you didn't, so I go for Ruth. I'm warming into it. I'm warming into it. Uh, Corey, what would you say? Oh, I got to give it to Valencia <laughs> What is that? Oh. Okay, uh, DB, did you vote? I didn't. Okay, so let's go over <laughs> to the audience. And we've got Ruth. Fellatio always gets my vote, says Yamino Barmart. Uh, Ruth, 
Um, Ruth, Felicio Crumb. Uh, Ruth, David, Ruth, Ruth, and Ruth again. So with that, and Sean Penn, Ruth, you have taken it. So who does that leave as our four finalists? We have Danny, we have Corey, we have DB, and we have Ruth Curtis. We are going to have an extreme monologue to decide the winner. The way this works is one of them will start doing a monologue and there will be 90 seconds on the clock. And they and when whoever is speaking is not allowed to repeat any words whatsoever and is not allowed to hesitate, which in this game we count as an extended pause or saying a non-word such as er uh or um. If either of these rules are broken, then any of the contending players can call out freeze and if they correctly identify a broken rule they get to take over the monologue whoever's in control of the monologue after 90 seconds will be tonight's extreme improv extreme champion so um cory you are number one db number two ruth number three and danny number four i will roll a dice until i get one of those numbers and let's roll a let's roll one of these dice in fact and number one, that means, Corey, you get to start us off here. Let's find a character for you to be. You are going to be... Uh, scrolling up. You are Spider-Man with Acid Reflux. You are Spider-Man with Acid Reflux. So, here... All right, he wants to get a snap filter. We have to allow it. You go. Once upon a time, there was me with sick tum-tum. That is right, a ill stomach. Freeze. Uh, Freeze. I... What's your challenge, Danny? Once upon a time, uh, a sick tum-tum. He said the word A twice. He also said tum-tum. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> it's hyphenated. Uh, is it? Yeah. Is it now? Yeah. Right, Danny O. George, was... 17 seconds have gone. You are Spider Man, you have acid reflux, and here you go. Mr. Stark, I'm not feeling well. Please get at me. Vomit. Ew. All over your floor. Pepper Potts won't like that. <laughs> Mary Jane, I took too much. Mm. Anyway, Gwen, Stacy, please, their masses, just avoid it. <laughs> so, uh, we got together. Freeze, freeze. Was that a garden, Ruth? Yeah, it was definitely an uh. There, there was. There was okay, so one minute, four seconds gone. All still to play for. Ruth, here you go. Shooting spider web out is hard with poorly stomach. Pain hurts bad. Can't do anything to stop why me and that is time that is time which means congratulations ruth you are today's extreme improv extreme champion i never went well done well done so with that um well done. Audience, please put any final thoughts or comments into the comment section. We'll read them at the end. I have of the a show. final thought. Yeah. I didn't get to go. But you needed to call out freeze. Oh, to, to go? I thought that was your job. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sorry, DB. Okay. DB. DB. I have nothing to say to help this situation. No, it's fine. Right, okay. So, anyway, uh, I wanted to, but I just couldn't think of anything. Right, so, our audience, put any final thoughts or signs of support for DB into the comment section, and then we will see what, um, where we can find everyone on social media, starting with Ruth Aroshnik. Where can the people find you? You can find me right here on Extreme, and a uh, special shout-out to... Um, Andrew Whitington, we need you back with some of your uh, blue hum blue humor. Master of the meat humor. Come on back, Andrew. Some of your bloomer. 
Yeah. It, well, how's his name pronounced? Whitington. Is it Whitington yeah. or Whittington? Whittington. Yeah, like Dick Whittington. What? What? Whittington. No, Whittington. Yeah. Whittington. I apologize. Yeah. You also know that Andrew is George Harrison's grandson. Yeah. Oh. Exactly yeah. like. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, Corey Birch, where can the people find you? Oh, baby, you can find me right here, uh, and also with my friend Marty saying yabba dabba dog shit, uh, and also buy this book by David. Yes, I'm in fact, buy 15 copies. Right, where can the people find you, JJ? I am actually mentioned in the second last page of that book, which is very humbling. Um, you can see me here, uh, JJ Hazan on Facebook. And hopefully some live extreme improv performances in the next few months. Yet to know where they are. Yes. Um, currently they're in Omicron. But um, with Omicron. this, um, Marty, where can the people find you? Well, you can't find me in the book, in the, the Postansky book, but perhaps volume two. But you can find me on uh instagram at what would jesus glue and here on extreme improv whenever i get the chance yeah okay hang on there's there's a breaking news story here on on the on the, on the chat on that you guys can't see in the audience ruth curtis says sorry db it's not a fair way of doing the final round so with that i think you're right ruth db i'm gonna announce that you're the champion there you go db there you go there you go there we go there we are Right, now I'm just kidding. Whoa, I'm just kidding. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm just right, okay. Ma no, David, DB clearly says he is JJ Hazan. So technically, <laughs> I am. Right. <laughs> Hang on. You, there, that's a good point. That's a good point. Right, okay. Marty, where can the people find you? <laughs> I already said. Get, oh. just <laughs> I can't remember. Look, I've, I've got a brain condition. Take some big. Right, who has not been yet? Danny, where can the people find you? <laughs> okay, so you, uh, although Christmas has been and gone, you can find me on Spotify with a Christmas song. <laughs> I may release some other ones in the new year, but if you want to check it out, it's, it's there. That's my face with a candy cane. But apart from that, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Danny Unplanned and on Twitch at Danny Danny. And I'm part of the Portsmouth Improv Experience. That is an anagram of pi. If you like literary puns, we're on Facebook at Portsmouth Improv. Okay. Uh, anyone else? Corey, I've come to you. JJ. Yeah. Yep. Um, Marty, Ruth, you won. Oh, uh, DB. Where can the people find you? Oh, um, you can't. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> so with that, my name is David Pustansky. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at David Pustansky, spelled P-U-S-T-A-N-S-K-Y. You can also get a copy of the Extreme Improv Big Book of Improv Games. Just go over to the website, extremed.tv, for the full details. But it's available on Amazon. Um, but anyway, so this week our winner is Ruth Curtis. Where can the people find you? Oh, you can find me on Twitter at Ruth Curtis at. Uh, there's a website there which if you want to go to you could and there's another website if you want to but just find me here whenever I can and uh, and I will try and talk for uh, 90 seconds without repeating myself and things like that okay so with that let's have a quick look at the comment section and see what we've got here uh, Billy the Kid applying to be a spermologist says Rob Kirby poor DB says Jane up the spermologist says Hannah Carey love it <laughs> Um, feel like Ruth wasn't really doing... Oh, hang on, let me read this. Feel like Ruth wasn't really doing a good job. She was talking like a toddler. That's got nothing to do with acid reflux. Wow. Harsh oh, notes wow. here. Harsh no But hey. you may think that, but Ruth still won. So, with that... <laughs> That's a terrible thing to say. And the Ruths everywhere in the world are going to strike back. <laughs> <laughs> As oh someone who sometimes suffers from acid reflux, I know what it's like. So exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so take that, you. Right, okay. Rob Kirby says, good good show, chaps. I may or may not be wearing chaps as I say that. What? Oh, I see. <laughs> good yes. Yeah, right. Um, Danny's song absolutely slaps. Yes, there it does. Go. Says Hannah Carey. Right. Uh, ha uh, Danny, did you want to sing happy birthday to someone? 
Yeah, speaking of songs, everyone join me. It's in the chat, but they can't see. So, one, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lewis. Happy birthday to you. Every day. Ah, flawless. Flawless. Got it first time. Yeah, Marty. Oh, Marty gets a solo. <laughs> so good. <laughs> okay, uh, who who are we singing Happy Birthday to? It was Luba the King in the YouTube. Ah, Luba Luba the King. Okay, so with that, I will say thank you very much. Make sure you smash the subscribe button on YouTube.com forward slash Extreme Improv. And with that, we will say stay safe, always stay extremed, and ciao for now. Boom, and we are off the. Ciao for now. Excellent oh show, guys. Well done, well done. Yeah.